Round nine of DTM 2021. The first race of the weekend at the Red Bull Ring and a maiden pole position for Liam Lawson. He got the run into turn one with Max Scott's championship contender just behind, but the battle for third was about to kick off. Sheldon van der Linde going around the outside of Arjun Miney. The Indian driver having qualified third, his best qualifying to date. Could he pick up his first podium in DTM? Well, Sheldon van der Linde was still on the charge as they climbed up the hill into the hairpin at turn three. And Philip Ellis had also made a good start in the team windward Mercedes, so it's three abreast into the braking zone. Ellis down the inside, around the outside van der Linde, stuck in the middle, Arjun Miney. Liam Lawson led, Max got second, but it was still being disputed, this battle for third place. And it was going to be three abreast again as they went down the hill into turn four. Van der Linde on the outside in the middle, Philip Ellis, but he went deep into the corner. And Arjun Miney was coming back at them now in the Get Speed Mercedes. Back down the inside as they exited the turn, still hand in hand, going downhill into the high speed section of the course. But Arjun Miney back into third. Argent came out of his mandatory pit stop ahead of Vance on Abril, but Philip Ellis had already made his stop, got the run coming out of turn one, and the positions exchanged. Philip Ellis potentially looking for his third podium of the season. Sheldon van der Linde had lost time during the pit stop phase, though. This was Marco Wittmann coming past him as he got his tyres up to temperature. So Ellis ahead of Miney, then Abril, who'd had a good stop in the HRT Mercedes, Wittmann. Van der Linde just behind, and Lucas Auer trying to get up into the points in his home race as well. But for Sheldon van der Linde, things were about to go very pear-shaped. That contact up at the hairpin and shortly afterwards into the gravel trap because the car had broken and out of the race for a second consecutive race was Sheldon van der Linde. His brother Kelvin, though, was battling hard, trying to get himself a podium position. The Audi up the insides of the Vulcan Horse BMW of Marco Wittmann, third in the championship, carrying success ballast, more ballast on Alex Albon's Ferrari, 25 kilograms after his first win in the championship at the Nürburgring. And then van der Linde straight onto the tail of Arjun Miney. The great move down the inside, under braking to get ahead of the Indian who gave him room, then tried to come back at the Audi down the hill. Kelvin van der Linde, championship leader from eighth on the grid, eyeing up a potential podium. You could see Philip Ellis ahead, but he hadn't yet shaken off Arjun Miney. He was trying to come back around the outside of him at turn four. So, Arjun Miney on the back foot then after that, and Alex Albon, who has been brave, last of the late breakers into the hairpin, coming at him with the Ferrari. Could he pick up a second consecutive podium finish? The Nürburgring race winner, got a great run coming out of the hairpin, had got the inside line for turn four. Now, absolutely nose to nose, but the Ferrari went through. If he understeered wide though, Arjun Miney would be straight back on top of him, and Marco Wittmann was just behind as well in the BMW. Kelvin van der Linde then lost out to Alex Albon on the run into the hairpin. Van der Linde suddenly looking at fifth place rather than third. And then the pair came together again in the last half lap of the race, allowing Philip Ellis to get through and pull clear for the last two corners for third. Both got away with it, with Albon coming home in fourth place and van der Linde in fifth. However, Liam Lawson coming home to take his second win of the season, cross the line, just a second clear of Max Gotts. Yeah, Liam, excellent job, excellent job. That's back where we belong, P1. Congratulations, mate. It's the perfect start to the second half of the season for Lawson, with Philip Ellis picking up his third podium. Yes, guys, really good job, really, really good job. That was really nice. I lost the race quite early on, but it stayed stable from there, but man, that was close. So a lively race here at the Red Bull Ring. Liam Lawson taking 18 points away from championship contender and leader Calvin van der Linde. Up to third in the points after race one.